All right, guys, here we are. We got the 2021 Yamaha MT-07 here. And today we are gonna be installing this here 12 bar. So first things first, I already popped my seat off, take that off, and then we're gonna take our stock passenger pegs off, six millimeter Allens. We have to take off this stock taillight assembly. I'm not sure what we're all doing with that yet. I haven't uh, looked too much into it and uh, go from there. So we're going to start by removing this plastic, little push pins, and get these six mils out and then see what's up. Trash. <laughs> We got to take off the brake reservoir, which is, looks like an eight mil. Yeah, you can hold it, trust me, if you want. It'll be easier. Doo, 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 doo. All right. Don't think we're gonna need this stock thing. We might actually use this bolt still, I'm not sure, so. Don't lose that one. You could probably make like five whole dollars and sell these on eBay, guys, if you wanted. Oh no, my lights have seen better days. Ugh, that's not a good look right there. What is that? I'll fix that. But all right, so now we need my little handy handy pick. And you hit these little push pins, pop them in, pull them out. Do that to both sides. that and then got to check where 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 I think I have to remove the tail just a little bit in order to see the head of the other bolts so I'm gonna take this off Yep, they're underneath there, so pop this off and you don't really need to take much else and kind of pull on it a little bit and you'll feel that there's snaps. I need to get on the other side of the bike though. Just kind of get in there and give it a little pull. And then there's a, some eight mils in there. And that's what holds on this stock tailored assembly and there's gonna be a wire in there. I'm not exactly sure. How that gets disconnected yet but we'll figure that out that's all under here so there is a, this light i don't know if you guys plan on using it or not probably most people will not need to use this i was just kind of taking this apart to see um what was in there but uh because you might be able to zip tie it to the 12 bar depending so that you still have a license plate light because i know some states are more strict than others in regards to this, and if you don't want to hook any other lights up, you might, this might be an option. So I'm going to take this all the way off. Mills for that, so we'll pop that off. Oh, this light's broken already from some, uh, some, from some, uh, probably wheelies. Oh yeah, this thing ain't going to work anyways. This thing is toast. You got to take this plastic off? No, I move, I bend, you can bend it out of the way. I'll hold it for you. You got it? Why don't you give me an in? In an actual ratchet. This is this is stupid. That's that. Up there, yeah, and then get on the end. It's a freaking 9 mil? Oh. Don't why, do that. Why is this even on here? That was not that tight, sore. How could you not get that? Let's grab the impact sword. Take them off. Open that plastic. That's smarter, not how it takes. Alright, so I don't think we're going to utilize this at all, but 
Oh, you got one more snap ring left. Beat it up right in the middle. Yeah, holding this all together. Snap ring. A little snap thing? Oh, let's see. There's a popper in the middle. Little control alt delete on the license plate. There we go. All right, so now let's grab and see all of this hardware. And this is what is used to mount the 12 bar, gets mounted to the middle eventually with this gold one. But before that, you put this new this is the new plate, and you're going to use he's got washers provided open a nut and this goes right underneath here right where you just took that out very nice and simple nut side i would imagine goes down right sir or would it go the other way no it would, oh yeah it go the other way. Way. well no because then let's see how it sits once yeah take it off once see if it fits in this hole sitting in the hole no not at all you know what i'm saying it's, it's like not, it's not very long it's not sitting in the uh this isn't sitting flat. Yeah, this is that sit flat. Is that messy? All right, so restart. Hard cut. Oh my word! Is all you have is one? Yeah. Right here, bro. What's all this? Oh, let me see. If that's the bolts. We'll use those. Uh, give me a handstand. Just slide that up. Here you go. Do the third one. Yep. Yeah. All right, trust me. Now, now film. Oh, he's already still <laughs> Well, good. you know, there is a way it doesn't work, guys. So we just figure that out. Hold her up. Snug her up. You're running with the impact? It's already almost done. Just grab me a wrench. I, don't have I am an impact. I don't have the wrench, sir. Guys, the next step once we get there, this big bolt is what's going to hold it on the bottom there. Crisscross applesauce. No, neither. I can see him. I can see him just fine. I just need my, my partner to. Mm, you gonna blame me. Hold the uh, thing up for me. Get that one snug. Let me take that one. Sends his own hardware for the for the side, but I wonder if you could use the stock black. Use the stock black ones. Just hand me that black bolt right by your foot. Yeah, but what does it look like? Does it have a does it fit all the way? Yeah. Oh yeah, use that. He just sends new ones to us because a lot of people. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. So this big old black bolt. It's yeah. not black. <laughs> Sorry, gold bolt. Oh yeah. There. I might paint that bolt blue, but for now, it's a big thing. What do you think that is? A 21? Yeah, no, I think it's probably huge. 19. Probably 19. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so I got this thing up and crank them all down at the end. Hang on, yeah, I'm figuring out. Ooh, yeah, it's like a 22. Jeez. Yeah, so I reused the stock bolts just because they are plenty long, but uh, he does send different bolts guys so it's up to you use it use at your own discretion which bolts you want to use for the side here you'll find a 22 or something it's in the trailer there's big sockets where's the bolts i can go in the trailer put the pegs on please put the gold bolt in there which are the pegs you can yeah with the lock nuts with the lock washers all right i gotta run to my trailer and figure out what size this is my good old handy dandy adjustable i'm just gonna be very careful not to uh try to get the powder coat caught oh no as he says that dude he used it as a hammer at the shoot that freaking fmx no guy. that's this my is this dude i've had this wrench, wrench since i was 14 no. years old and she's toast so son um, of a gun we're gonna tighten this later guys but uh you get the pretty much the obvious point of what's going on here no what? can't find my big socket for some reason well here this you need to put the bolt through guys put the peg on and it's gonna be tricky but you need to use to get the, wa this for the you. washer and the lock washer in there 
How does a guy do that? It's easy, easier. I did it before with the sub cage off because I flipped it like vertically and dropped it in. Stop, Shane, you gotta hold it with your hand. Okay, I can do that. I got it. How is someone supposed to do that? Put my set screws down on the ground. They're down towards the ground. Hey, dude. Hang on, let's put a little extension on this. So make it easier. Okay. Crank it. Crank that sucker as tight as you can get it. Yeah, boy. Keep cranking. Okay. End cap. What size is that? Four mil, Alan? Yeah. That with the wrench. There you have it. Done. Gotta do the other peg on this side, but there you have it, folks. That is how you install a FMS sub cage. Old school people would call this a wheelie bar. No cut, right? We have call to it what you want. Yeah, you do not have to cut the fangs at all. No you, cut wheelie you bar. You do have to take off the stock tail light. Um, or not the tail light, sorry, the stock license plate assembly, which I'm gonna probably just zip tie my plate up here. We'll figure something out for that, but uh, people always wanna get rid of that stuff anyways, Fender. Yeah, this looks super clean, guys. Like I said, no cut on the plastic. Just had to take it out, put it back on, and we are good to go. We're gonna do my brother's bike here next, and uh, stay tuned for more uh, MT-07 videos. We got a surprise coming your guys' way here in the next couple of weeks, so. Stay tuned, can't say too much about it yet, but we got some new stuff coming to Twin Stunts HQ here, guys. So you're gonna wanna stick around and watch that. So hit that subscribe button, follow us for more, and we'll see y'all next time.